Minnesota Vikings quarterback Kyle Sloter film review. So all preseason, he's been stellar. So we're going to take a look at the Buffalo game from last night, fourth preseason affair, and see you know what the tape shows us about this quarterback. This is his first pass attempt of the game. Strong safety right here. I'm trying to circle him with the mouse. He's coming down at the snap. So whenever a strong safety rolls down, what do you do? You throw away from that safety. That's exactly what Sloter does here. Steps up in the pocket, quick release. Oh, he throws the deep curl away from that strong safety rotation. New set of downs for the Vikings. Just going through Kyle Sloter. He's entering his third year in the league. There's been a lot of back and forth from the head coach, Mike Zimmer, on you know how he feels about Sloter, if he feels he's ready. All the while, he's been out playing every other Viking quarterback in the preseason. So let's just let the tape tell us about him. Right there, trying to hit 87 quickly over the middle. A little bit of a miscommunication on that route. Um, end up having to punt. First drive of the game, Tyree Jackson from the Bills in. You know, fast forward this. New, new drive, drive number two for Sloter and the Vikings. Again, staples of Gary Kubiak, 21 personnel. Run it for four. Next play, 2014 Baltimore when Kubiak was there. This is what this is. Play action, Steve Smith here in 2014 on that little, <clears throat> you know, pivot route off of the boot action. That's what Steve Smith did in 2014 with Flacco. Easy throw on the move. Again, scheming guys open. Putting Sloter in an optimal situation to complete the pass and to just let his natural ability take over. Run the football again. Now, Sloter ends up making some good throws on this drive. Again, heavy personnel, they're running it again. Second and long. So a third down for Sloter to convert. Let's see if he does so. Third and nine. Quick trigger. Treadwell, again, getting the ball out quick. Now, Sloter is a little bit raw at times in terms of his mechanics, but the natural throwing ability is there. Here, Elite design on the post out. Hits a guy for a touchdown. Now, it was called back. We don't know why. But again, outside release by that inside tight end. Out, post, behind the under coverage, on time, action, first and ten. Defense doesn't know what's coming. Slower yet again, dropping times. Very next play, hits a um, slower, that is. Ends up hitting his running back right here. On the wheel, Sean Payton, Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara style. Watch it. It's coming. Well, actually, it's not coming. So they run it here. It might be the next play. When I went through the tape, it seemed like it was the play after. Quick hitch. Actually, a quick flat route to his tight end. Now, this Gary Kubiak system, very quarterback friendly. Yes, it is. Under center, defined reads. But Sloter's natural throwing ability taken over. There's the Kamara quick hitter on the running back swing. Again, leverage. He knows the back's open. He's getting it to him now with the correct trajectory. And again, everything is immediate. All the decision-making that Sloter's making, immediate. Again, no thinking. Natural. Face mask level. Great ball placement to Abdullah. IPA I'm drinking tonight is a Summit Saga for all you IPA guys out there. Summit Saga brewed out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, pretty darn good IPA. A little bit bitter on the back end, but, you know, solid classic IPA. If you, if you have an opportunity to get it, if you live in other parts of the country, I would recommend that Summit Saga IPA. <clears throat> Let's take a look at uh, Sloter Drive number three. Again, hitch out of what looks to be 21 personnel. 21 personnel, one, two, three, balls out. Easy throw. Second and short, they're running it. They convert with a nice push. 
switch field for the second quarter. Quick five balls out over a linebacker. Elite throw here. Again, innate touch, timing, and accuracy. One, two, three, four. Quick five, throwing him with anticipation. And a nice catch as well. But the ease of which Slaughter operates, I mean, it's undeniable. The quickness of his delivery, the natural accuracy he has, the rhythm he feels. If if the Vikings cut, you know, Kyle Slaughter, it's going to be a huge mistake, huge mistake, because this is a guy who could develop into a legitimate NFL starting quarterback. <clears throat> um, second and long again under center again now Kubiak's going under center all preseason long this was a pretty good throw now not an elite throw you know, you know, it's, you know it's not pinpoint but I like the idea Okay, he's trying to hit his tight end on a double vertical concept a little bit out of his reach a little bit off so now we got third and long shotgun Innate movement skills, feeling the rush, not seeing him, making a play, second reaction, Aaron Rodgers style, off script, whatever you want to call it. There it is, the the subtle sidestep, eyes down the field. You, you, I mean, honestly, you just can't teach this. You can't teach that. First and ten, they're throwing it now. <clears throat> rush comes at him pretty quickly. Now, Slaughter was indecisive on this one. A little bit indecisive. Maybe he wants to take the back now. But then, the, you know, there's two guys in his face. Ends up not being a fumble. But then he comes back after this. They pitch it out. Right? They pitch it out again on fourth, and they have to settle for a field goal. Let's get more Slaughter, man. More Kyle Slaughter. 21 personnel yet again. They're running the football. So, yes, Kubiak is making things rather simplistic for Slaughter. And that's obvious. But also, one could say that's, you know, smart offensive coordinating as well. Because that's what we're going to see from Cousins as well. A lot of under center, a lot of play action, a lot of defined concepts. A combination of Kubiak and, and uh, Kevin Stefanski. Passing down third and long, they go shotgun. Slaughter gets greedy here and um, predetermines it. Now, bottom of the screen, wide receiver, inside release corner. The corner sinks. you got to take the flat there, and he doesn't, so he just gets greedy. Now, there will be some more plays for Slaughter here late in the second quarter still. First and ten. Play action, easy motion, ability to not get the pass batted down. You say, well, it's an easy throw. And it is an easy throw. But he's got a defender in his face. Quick release. Boom. Easiness. It's an easy throw to the football. New set of downs, first and ten. Twenty-one personnel again. One, two, three balls out. Slant on time. Again, I'm a broken record, but Kubiak knows what he's doing. Twenty-one personnel again, or actually, that's twelve personnel. Late to the arrow. Good read. First down. Play action on first and ten. Again, the arrow's there. He's got to take it. They're running it on second and seven. Gets stuffed by 74. <clears throat> Shotgun. Passing down. On time. Double curl. Slaughter's eyes go to the left as soon as he catches the snap. Face mask goes to the left. Boom. See that? Then comes back to the middle. On time. Zone dropping linebackers. He's hitting his guy in the void. Running on first and ten.
So as we've seen thus far, you know, a, you know, a little bit of a mixed bag, honestly, for Sloter. Now he's made some really good throws. He's he's played uh, you know well within the confines of the structure of the of the Kubiak offense, but he's also missed a few throws, made a few bad reads, but more good than bad. And if we go back to week two and week three of the preseason, played a little bit better, arguably, in those two weeks. But still, he's playing solid football here against the Bills, taking the out route, another third down completion, sitting in the pocket, taking the out route, calm. He converts yet again. So, solid performance for him.